Last year, Nintendo announced that they were going to stop giving out free updates for New Horizons, but they later released a paid DLC for the game. That was great, but unfortunately that was only a one-time thing for Animal Crossing. Also, once I hit 9,000 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away a $10 Nintendo eShop gift card for your Switch, so make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below after you've done that so I can enter you into the giveaway. The DLC that we all received was great and all, it was pretty fun, but I feel like Animal Crossing is just a game that Nintendo should have never stopped supporting. There's just so much content that could be added to this game. So many things from previous Animal Crossing games aren't in New Horizons, so they could start there. They could add stuff like the post office and stuff from previous games. They could add different jobs, different tasks. Personally, if Nintendo even added just five new fish or insects to catch, I would get on my Switch and grind it out until I caught all of the new bugs or fish. Even if they added any other new feature, like when they still supported the game and added previous updates, I loved it and I would play it for a long time and it brought me back to the game. It's definitely a game that you could play for a really long time without getting bored. Most people have over 100 hours playtime on it. I definitely have a lot. A lot of my playtime is from quarantine though, like three years ago, which is crazy to think about. I still hop on the game every now and then, but I definitely played it a lot in 2020. There just comes a point where there's not a lot to do. Like my island is pretty much complete. You know, I could still do a few things to it, move things around and everything. But whenever I just go on, I just clean up the weeds. I talk to the villagers. I check the shop, walk around maybe, try to relax. I mean, it's definitely a relaxing game. It's a, it's a great game, don't get me wrong. But I feel like I don't have a lot of things important to do on this game anymore. I mean, I definitely need to get more art. I literally have like five pieces of art, so maybe I should start grinding the game, find some more paintings and sculptures and stuff. It's just kind of strange to me how Nintendo won't add or update this game anymore when it's literally the second best selling game on the Switch. It sold nearly 42 million copies. The Animal Crossing series just has so many fans, there's just millions of people, and everybody would love to have some new content for this game. I mean, you could also view it from the perspective of Nintendo. Like, they probably have the idea that this game is already a success, it's complete, there's not much to add to it because they want to save more for maybe the next Animal Crossing game. Because if the next Animal Crossing game just has everything New Horizons does, then the next Animal Crossing game is not going to be as unique or as special, you know what I mean? They have to separate a lot of features or buildings or just different things that they could put into the game in general. They can't keep it stale, you know what I mean? They gotta keep it fresh. I hate to admit it though, if Nintendo added another paid DLC to this game, I'd probably pay for it, depending on how much it is, you know, I'm not gonna pay like 100 bucks, but like, you know, 20 bucks or less or something like that, if there's a lot of features and new content, i definitely play it. Like, this is my personal favorite game on the Switch, I definitely have the most playtime on this game than any other Switch game, and I think it's just a great game that everybody should try out, because I did not think this game would be fun. I never played a previous Animal Crossing game in the past. I didn't really want this game, but I got it because of quarantine and stuff and I was bored, and I'm so glad I did because it's a series that I really appreciate and enjoy now. Other games that didn't do as well as Animal Crossing still receive DLCs and other updates, so that's kind of an interesting thing to think about because Animal Crossing still has a ton of people playing it. Like, it's not a dead game at all. It might not be as hyped up anymore because it's a few years old now, but people still play it. Apparently, they started working on New Horizons in 2012, which is crazy because it took them eight years to release it. So it wouldn't be out of the realm of possibility that they've already started working on the next Animal Crossing game. So maybe that's, you know, why they stopped updating this one is because, like I said, they're saving features and content for the next one and they've already maybe added it to the next one. The next one is going to hopefully come out on the next console, which we have no idea what that is or when that's going to be released. So it's just all a mystery right now, but I'm pretty sure an Animal Crossing game has been released on every single console since the series came out like 20 years ago. I'm pretty sure I might be wrong, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's been out on every single console since then. A lot of people also believe that Nintendo stopped updating this game because it didn't want it to shadow other new releases. Like a lot of people thought the production of Splatoon 3 is kind of part of the reason why this game stopped being updated, which I don't entirely believe, but I mean, I don't know for sure, but I feel like that's not true just because there's definitely enough room for both games. Like Splatoon's a huge IP, people love Splatoon, people also love Animal Crossing. I don't think people would be upset that there would be more Animal Crossing content and a new game, you know what I mean? Like I think people would still play both. I don't think it would take away from one another. Something else I was just thinking about is Nintendo probably released this game with the intention of it being pretty much complete. Like, you know, back in the day, games were released and they were they are complete, you know, besides like a few bugs and glitches. Of course, games are different now. Games are released and they have several updates over the course of years and years just to add new features, new content to fix anything. But like Animal Crossing was loaded with content. Like there's so many things you could do in this game. They definitely did add a few big updates over the years. So we definitely got new content, but I just still find it interesting that they stopped updating it when it's such a huge game, when they could add even just the simplest of items. 
In the end, I think it's fine though, because New Horizons is an amazing game. There's a ton of content in it. It's my favorite game. I don't want to sound like I'm complaining or anything. Definitely not, because I'm definitely satisfied with my experience with this game. I'm just kind of curious as to why Nintendo stopped updating the game, as they could easily add new stuff to it, and it's just such a huge game. One of my favorite things to do was fish in this game and like catch different bugs and whatever. So I've always just been hopeful for a few new fish or other creatures to be added. I know that they added like the sea creature stuff, which is pretty cool. I think I might need to get a few more of those. So I could probably grind those out too. I definitely think I uh, should do that. I'm definitely excited for whenever the next Animal Crossing game will release. Hopefully within the next, I don't know, two or three years. But I'm pretty sure Animal Crossing games have a pretty big gap in between each release. So hopefully next console comes out, you know, within two years. And then the Animal Crossing game could come along with it. Make sure to like, subscribe, guys, and if you want to enter the giveaway, just comment down below that you're subbed and everything, and I'll see you guys in the next video.